Greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome to my humble channel of Epic 7 content. I'm Senshai, and I want to thank you all for joining me today on our adventures to do some Guild Wars. And today we're going to be facing the almighty Potato Farm. Quite intimidating. I'm very excited to see how everything's going. All right, formidable foe to say the very least. I'm going to be interested to see what kind of teams we can find to fight today. I will be using Mort. I got him all leveled up, skilled up, awakened, so hopefully we can have some fun and see how well he does. All right, so we found our first opponent. I'm going to bring Mort with Lilius and with Doris. Doris to give the defense buff, which is really the only useful um, buff that Lilius and Mort can get. Uh, Lilius is critical damage based, so she should be dealing enough damage on her own. No negative affinities on the enemy team, so Mort should have an easy time landing his defense break, which is where a majority of the damage that we have is going to be. Bottom team, really cut and dry, Seaside Bologna with Roel and Fawn Cecilia. Just, to, just in case this top team doesn't work, which, you know, if t Surin is on uh, Basket or... Uh, RNL. Things could go south pretty fast, so we'll see. So, best of luck to us, right? Hmm. Now comes the base of what we want to do. No debuffs were landed on us, but I think I'm still going to use the skill 3 just to clear the immunity and also give Lilius that CR push. Death has come for you. Alright, let's see what more can do. For a rare spectacle. <laughs> Not, not landing the defense break, but proccing his anti-crit, which will be nice. That'll definitely be helpful. You may be worth my attention. Let me show you the results of my research. Oh man, those dual attacks. And no defense break again. Um, I'm gonna taunt the T-Stern. I don't think she should cleanse because she doesn't have the uh, HP missing in order to cleanse it. Okay, hopefully Doris doesn't die right out the gate. Okay, perfect. Defense break. Uh, we'll right. no longer Let's uh, <laughs> get Doris back up to full HP. I'll grant you the power to fight. Wow, that is a lot of damage. I sense new magic nearby. <sighs> Shall we test fate? For a majority of these teams, I always find that waiting to not attack the T-Surin is always best. Okay, this will be a test of Mort's metal. Hopefully I made him thick enough. Let me show you the wow. results of my research. Please, let me heal you. Okay. Miserable creature. This is not looking good. I might have to surrender this. I don't want more to die right out the gate. Yeah. That's too bad. That that unlucky defense break. Oh well, we'll just uh have to Hopefully I don't eat my words and say this uh, team never fails for the most part, but you know, there's always that 3% that chance. 4% <laughs> chance. Okay. 
地の渇望無に帰せ私と共に陸上の地域もせなプライド壊してあげます無意味だ今から逃げても遅くありませんわそろそろ飽きてきましたわ Normally, I would wait, but I think that this will be beneficial. Oh, good. He got unhealable. Okay, that has been cleansed. That's too bad. Oh, that is unfortunate. This is going to hurt a lot. Yep. Okay, good. That triggered the invincibility. Alright, and now, because Alencia can't be buffed, she's not going to be getting any of her Mind's Eye procs. That is unfortunate. This Alencia is quite formidable, I have to say it. I mean, you know, mad respect for this guy. Yeah, that's, that's formidable damage. Yeah, I will I will full heal my, my seaside. Wow, she's always lending those defense breaks. Okay. Okay, don't panic. Hmm. I think probably what I want to do is I want to I want to revive my fallen Cecilia. I know this is kind of a weird play, but with her uh, Aureus and Ruelli being on Water's Origin, they should be able to sustain and kind of fend off this Alencia. Fortune of the Savior, very interesting choice. <laughs> So, and I can save my heals for when Alencia does just too much damage. But she is just consistent, consistently landing that defense break. So, she's doing a significant amount of damage. Okay, good. She didn't land at that time. Okay, let's see. This should be fine. I don't want to risk... I'm going to heal Fallen Cecilia, so now... Okay, hopefully this doesn't kill. Sadness. Well, you know... Nothing, nothing really went our way that that time, but you know, maybe, maybe for the next fight. I just can't see side blown at it. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll go into the next match. I have double counter Elberis Gemini Knights, hopefully to take down this first team, and then team two. Uh, I'm gonna try Alencia. Uh, hopefully she does not get mass provoked by the fallen Cecilia. Um, attack break doesn't affect this team. It's all HP based, so we'll see how it goes. All right. Right, so my Elena is kind of poorly geared, 
Um, she's only there for the initial push, and most of the time, I only bring her when I have, like, Seaside, Bologna, and Charles. But hopefully, more and Charles will be able to kind of dual attack this down like I would have for Seaside. Oh, nice. Come on. Death has come for you. All right. I will show you grace. Let's see this damage. By granting you death. So from here, it can kind of go bad depending on how things go. Hopefully he doesn't land the strip. Okay, he didn't. Okay, good. We are getting those counter attacks. Can I get a duel? Strip the fallen Cecilia? See, that's why he's my main man, but he might die for being my main man. Oh god. Oh, come on. Go into the duel? Can I kill? So close. But, Morn's got his back. Nice. Oh, into the nether proc. See, this is why I love these guys. Nice damage. See? And they got each other's backs. Look at that. Man, that worked out way better than I was anticipating. Freaking way to go. Alright, now this will be the interesting part. Oh, okay, so I resisted. Okay, they landed the Provoke. Okay, so this is the important part, is the Lilius Cleanse, and this is why I love her. The full cleanse into the CR push and everything, especially against stuff like, um, like Arbiter Vildred. Like, this team is meant to be burst down and CC is there just for the lockdown. I gotta tell you, I really wish that I did not feed my Cecilia to my Fallen Cecilia, um, because her provoke and defense break and attack break, it, it's, it's amazing. Okay, so what do I want to do? Uh... Yeah, I think what I want to do is I just want to kill the Arbiter Vildred, just right out the gate. Just to heal, get the immunity, get the shield. So, this should make it so that Cerise shouldn't be able to CC my Lilius. Which is all I really cared about. Perfect. And now, yeah, everyone's fine from all these debuffs that are coming. So now what I want to do is I actually want to kill Cerise. Yeah, she just moves so fast. And she's got the defense break one. Okay. Stop bugging me. Uh you know what? I'm gonna veto this decision. Good defense break. So this kick here goes their damage. She'll focus. Perfect. And now I can just straight up kill Cerise without having to worry about it. Lilies will be full healed, and CC will be so focused on procking uh, my Alencia that it, it won't it won't matter. Perfect. Superb. And then see, it's, everything worked out in that fight. Alright, I'm gonna go and see if I can find us our final fight for the night. Alrighty, you guys, so I've selected our final opponent for the evening. Uh, I've got my Robbie, my Lilius, Rowell of Light, in case things go south with this team, because, you know, it's got Charles, it's got Kron. I wouldn't be surprised if this was a counter Kron. Uh, Rowell is just strictly there just for a, for a backup plan. It's a crutch, I know, but. You know, what are you going to do? And then bottom team, I've got more Moonlight Haste, and I don't really use my Rylet very often, uh, so or at least not recently. So, you know, thought I'd pull him out, see how he does. Hopefully he does not just get ballparked right out the gate, but if he does, uh, hopefully we can recover. So, let's go. Okay, double miss. This is perfect. My Ruel should be able to resist it. 
perfect. Oh, excellent. Wow. I'm getting all these counter attacks. Um, yeah, let's just power, let's just double drive this. Let's see how much damage she can do now. Wow. Color me surprised. I'm uh I'm pleased by this. Um Yeah, actually, hopefully with the way that my Robbie's scaled up, this should kill all of them. And then my Ruel should be able to survive this. She's got a decent amount of defense. Yep. As I said, no worries. <laughs> Perfect. All right, now on to the experimental team. I win again. You really are persistent, aren't you? Okay, the nice thing is that she did miss on my Rylet. All right. Do I want to risk more not killing Arbiter? Lilius is, I mean, sorry, Alencia is gone, so we don't have to worry about any of that. I think... In, in, in more, in more I trust. In more I trust. Just want to soften up the Last Rider crowd. <laughs> Death has come for you. Let's get this bad for such a permanent damage on them. Oh, but he'll get the barrier, so I... darn. That's a lot of damage. That's not who I was expecting him to go for. Please don't kill him. I need him. Oh yeah, we're totally fine. Uh Yeah. Defense broke fell off, so we should be all good. Shall we okay, test this, fate? This blind debuff is gonna hurt a little bit. So I'll just have him focus on the um Arbiter Bildred. <laughs> Wow, that was that was some fast cycling. Kill them all. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Seems totally a okay, fine. I'm actually going to hit the uh, Alencia because I, I'm confident that my other guys will be able to take down. Uh... <gasps> oh, that's bad. Okay, it did miss my Rylet, so he should proc his... Oh, very nice. This should kill her. Excellent. And then just a nice little love tap to Arbiter Vildred. And we're all set and ready to go. Excellent. Well, superb. That's gonna do for us today. I hope that you all enjoyed the debut of Mort, the first battle. Unfortunate that defense break really did hurt, uh, but I think he he held up well for the amount of damage that he was taking. So, thank you guys for watching again. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Alrighty, and for anyone who's curious about the stat lines of the units that I used today, I'm going to show you guys those right now. So I do hope you enjoy. If you guys have any 
questions or thoughts about building bruisers, just go ahead and leave it down in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to respond to you. Have a wonderful evening.